The Gold Coast Marathon presented by ASICS is more than a marathon, so lace up those runners and get ready to ready, set, go. This year, the kids are giving the grown-ups a run for their money in the 2km and 4km Junior Dash. Is it time to tackle your first event? You can dip your toe in the Gold Coast Airport 5km. There's a 1-hour, 20-minute cut-off time, so you can take your time. Share your love of running with the family at the Gold Coast Marathon presented by ASICS and enter now at goldcoastmarathon.com.au. The Gina and Maddie podcast. We're going to chat to you right now. What's bit you? This is because Taylor Momsen now, she's from Gossip Girl. Yes, she was Jenny. Jenny and Gossip Girl. And she has quite a successful music career as well. She's the front lady for The Pretty Reckless. Mm. Is it now? Yeah. Yep. Nailed it. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, she was performing a gig on stage and they, she's now been nicknamed Bat Girl, <laughs> right? Because she's been bitten by a bat on the stage. Like, Bit of, this is so weird. It's like the bats have all gone, you know what? Let's finally get some payback for Ozzy Osbourne and let's go bite someone oh. else on a stage. Right? So the camera, when you're at the concerts, yeah. you know, they've got the big screens on the stage, the yeah. cameraman's zoomed right in and you can see the bat that's just hanging from hanging like a her. bit of her fabric and then dangling down on a leg and it's given a big bang. And all her crew came out to help her and yeah. none of them really wanted to help. What bit ya? Paul's in Lake Memora. Has anything bitten you? Uh, a couple of things have bitten me, mate. All right. Um, I've been bitten by a redback and by a brown snake. The redback was on the back of the toilet door. Oh. Uh, we, we had an outside toilet back on the day, in the day. Mm-hmm. And the brown snake was halfway through a, uh, a wheat paddock on the way down to uh, do a bit of shooting. So. so when you got when you got bitten by the redback, where were like you were in the loo? Where did it bite you? On the hand. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, so... Not like that song, Red Back on the Toilet Seat, <laughs> Bites on the Bum. <laughs> no, it wasn't on the bum, unfortunately. I got... Luckily. So what, hap- what happens there? You get bitten by the Red Back. You know it's a Red Back. Next step, what happened? Um, well, I ended up having to go to the hospital, uh, but, like, we lived about an hour and a half away from the nearest hospital, so... Jeez. Did you get sick or anything? A little bit, yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah, I got bitten by Red Back uh, as a kid as well. It, it gets itchy. Where'd you, where'd you get bitten? On the foot. I oh put my, my foot in a oh. shoe. Got to stomp your boots. Got to stomp your boots before you check your boot. Oh, and a, oh, and a brown snake. Yeah, nice. Oh. Lindsay and Gorakin. Hi, Linz. Hi, how you going? Good. What beat ya? Ah, uh, monkey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me guess. Were you at a temple in a bud? <laughs> Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so what? What? Talk me through it. You're there. You're going to the monkey temple. What? Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were there for our honeymoon, and we went to see the monkeys. And there was this beautiful little baby monkey in the middle of the path. So I um, crouched, crouched down to take a photo, and um, while I was doing that, big mummy monkey unzipped my backpack. <sighs> Um, where I thought I'd very cleverly hidden my watch and she nicked that out of the backpack. And so then she's standing there watching me. So naturally I just acted as if she was a toddler and I just put my hand out and said, Ta. (laughs) (laughs) And she she jumped forward and grabbed my hand and um, had a crunch. (gasps) Did it draw blood? Did did it draw blood, Liz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five rabies shots. Later and oh no! Good, but yeah. <laughs> oh no! We're going to Bali in a little while for our holiday, and I do. I it seems to come up on my Insta feed all the time. Monkeys. I'm. There's no way I want to mm. go and see the monkeys because they. <laughs> yeah. They, there you go. Did you get your watch back? No, I always she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Biting it and smashing it around. Us. Oh, Linz. Yeah, I gave up. Oh, it's no watch, but you know what? I'm going to throw you a Gina and Maddie coffee cup, mate. It's uh, It doesn't tell the time, but geez, it's a left handed cup that holds fluid brilliantly. Uh, hang, uh, hang there, Linz. Let's do one more. Wes is in Wyoming. Good morning, Wes. Hey, good morning, guys. Mate, uh, what bit ya? I was bitten by a baboon. Oh, oh my gosh. Did it give you a South African accent, or was that that, that was before? <laughs> No, that, that comes standard. Okay, yeah. Talk oh, to me. Uh, what but, happens? Yeah, tell us about the baboon. So, I grew up in a small town called Freiburg, up in the northwest of South Africa. And um, one day my father pitched up at home with this little baby baboon. I must have been about three, four at the time myself. And we had this baboon as a pet. But obviously he grew a bit bigger and he took to my mother as being his mother. Yeah. And just the one day, my mom and I were lying on the bed, and uh, he came down the corridor, jumped on the bed, grabbed me by my arm, and sank his teeth in. Because <gasps> he was jealous. 
he was jealous because I'm now lying with his mother. Oh. Yeah, just, just jealousy. What? Which yeah. one? Which one have you got kicked out? <laughs> well, I was in my room for a while, and he was in his room for a while. But yeah, it's not me happy to separate my kids. But they're separating the yeah. baboon and Wes. Uh, and Wes, have you got a have you got a, a scar or anything for the troubles that you can show off? Yeah, look, I, I've got the scar, and I still show people um, every now and again, just as a bit of a body check. It's not that big and not that impressive, but it's there nonetheless. Oh. Yeah, when you tell people it's a baboon bite, then you know. Yeah. Mate. There's a bit of conversation piece. And then when you hear a radio station say, give us a call, what bit you? You've got a story. I love it, Wes. Thanks for your call, buddy. Gina and Maddie. What's going on, guys? It's Post Malone. Hey, guys. I'm Justin. This is Harry Styles. Hi, this is Pete. Gina and Maddie. Star Watch. Gina, what is going on in the world of Star Wars? Okay, a bit of a sad one out for the Jolly Pitt camp. One of the couple's daughters has opted to legally change her name mm. and drop the surname Pitt. I think most of them have done this. So Shiloh jo- Jolly is the new name of the 18-year-old, formerly known as Shiloh Jolly Pitt. And the couple's daughter filed the paperwork on May 27, the very same day she turned 18. It's, it's, it's getting messy. I feel it's so messy. sorry for Brad. I do. Oh, there are reports he's been a bit of a piece of work, um, oh. and they, and you know what the kids witness everything. So mm. that's when I, I start. That's when yeah, I start I to go. If if the kids are starting to drop their old man's last name, what's happened? Yeah, yeah. I feel bad for him, but then I'm like, oh, they're, not, well, they're not just doing it for no reason. Yeah, but what if she's just feeding them stuff? It's so know? it's so gross, isn't it? You yeah, never oh. know. You just don't know. I, I thought they so... were just fighting over the winery, but now it's gone. Oh, it's wow. taken to that next step. So apparently Maddox and Zahara also have gone without pit, the pit name mm. as well. So very sad. Yeah. Yeah. And in some good news. <laughs> yeah, give us some good news. Give Queensland us some good news. has launched a new tourism campaign led by Bluey and Robert Irwin because, as we know, Bluey oh comes God. from Brisbane. Robert it's a Irwin. Queensland and Robert who's on everything. Mate, careful. Overexposure will ruin you. That boy is gold right now. So what they've done is, you know, the keepy uppy game, which I thought I was the world champion from when my son Jackie was little. We were very good at keepy uppy. Mm-hmm. That's become a real thing. And they've done um, the one of the world's Guinness Book of Records, apparently, of, of the biggest game of world keepy uppy. They broke the records. Apparently, I just read that now. But what you got to do is keep a balloon up in the air, which yep. is a very fun game. But what they've done is they've set it in all beautiful spots all over Queensland. And, you, you know, there's when you watch the ad, there's this red balloon and they're playing Kippy Uppy up in, you know, up in the Whit Sundays and in Brisbane and it sounds, it's a really good idea I reckon they've done well, you Beautiful. know, use Bluey but also speaking of Robert Irwin we just recently saw him performing in Las Vegas with Lee Kernigan, friend mm. of mine friend of the show, <laughs> friend of mine anyway <laughs> and his wife Robbie, he was up singing Boys from the Bush or one of those songs apparently but he wasn't singing. He didn't sing, he played the guitar kind of, yeah. Oh and- did he not? He looked yeah, like he was. Like There's it. no chance that that guitar was plugged I in. I wouldn't yeah. be plugged yeah. in. Yeah. No. He, could yeah. do, he could do everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. He's Can also he? on a new Twisties That ad. Twisties <laughs> commercial is the most poxiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that thing with G-Flip. I love G-Flip. I, hey, I think they're great, right? But You do not think Robert Irwin's great? No, I think G-Flip oh, right. is great. Yes. I was using correct pronouns. Thank you very Good. much. <laughs> uh, 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 but I, no. I just think, Rob... Say no to something, so mate. So there's Aww. a tweet. I haven't seen it. Oh. What are they doing with the twisties? It's oh. chicken versus cheese. Twisty lovers of Australia they, unite! Oh, my they God. They heard that here. We did that weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, clearly listening to the show. Just stop, Rob. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, what's going on with ABBA? Well, they've received a prestigious Swedish knighthood. The four members of pop group ABBA have received one of the most prestigious knighthoods in Sweden. <laughs> at the Swedish Royal knight? Palace in Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> the Order of the Vaza, I, I'm not going to have a go at an accent, was handed out for the first time in almost 50 years. So all four... Got this award for very outstanding efforts in Swedish and international music life. So what are, now, what they, are their names? They what are their names? It. <laughs> You're awful. What are their names? You're terrible, Muriel. Agnetha Folkstunk. Beg your pardon? Bjorn Belly Anderson, I can do that one. And Annie Frid Linkstart. I think that... You know, I'm actually... I'm German. I should be good at those, kind of. Well, they're Swedish. Well, they're Swedish. The Gina and Maddie Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.
The Gold Coast Marathon presented by ASICS is more than a marathon, so lace up those runners and get ready to ready, set, go. This year, the kids are giving the grown-ups a run for their money in the 2km and 4km Junior Dash. Is it time to tackle your first event? You can dip your toe in the Gold Coast Airport 5km. There's a 1-hour, 20-minute cut-off time, so you can take your time. Share your love of running with the family at the Gold Coast Marathon presented by ASICS and enter now at goldcoastmarathon.com.au.